Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. When two distinct liquids emerge from what was once a mixed solution, such as when oil and vinegar separate in a salad dressing, physicists call the process liquid-liquid phase separation, LLPS. Condiments aside, this phase separation also happens on the microscopic scale, inside cells, where it concentrates biomolecules and facilitates their reactions. Thanks to a report in Science Advances yesterday, October 20th, LLPS is now dot dot Firmly confirmed in prokaryotic systems, Frederick Rousseau, who studies protein aggregation at Coup Leuven in Belgium and was not involved in the research, writes in an email to the scientist. It underlines, how fundamental LLPS is to cellular life and maybe to its origin, he adds. This is in part because the condensates are only marginally larger, if at all, than the microscopy diffraction limit, the minimal distance at which two objects can be seen as separate, or resolved, around 200 nanometers for fluorescence microscopes. The new paper is thus, a really important, dot dot, demonstration of how state-of-the-art super-resolution imaging can be used for these problems. Biophysicists Fan Bai of Peking University and Mark Leek of the University of York had previously shown that protein condensates, which they call aggressomes, form within Escherichia coli cells when the In the team's latest study, they investigated the dynamics of aggressome formation as well as their function. Using fluorescently labeled proteins that the team had previously shown accumulate in aggressomes, the researchers found that upon ATP depletion, the aggressomes form gradually over several hours, normally resulting in one at each end of the rod-shaped bacteria. Additionally, computer simulations showed, among other things, that rather than being an active process, no input of energy was required for aggressome formation. That is, the globs of proteins develop, at thermal equilibrium, says Leek, which is indicative of true LLPS. Although the team does not yet know how the aggressomes form, they suspect it might have something to do with ATP itself. The molecule is a hydrotrope, Leek explains, meaning it has the ability to make hydrophobic molecules, including some proteins, soluble in aqueous environments. Thus, its depletion might spur hydrophobic proteins to gather together. Regardless of the mechanism, the major finding of our paper is to show that in aggressomes proteins tend to stay together but not rigidly together. They still show a certain degree of movement. That is why we call it a liquid protein droplet, not a solid protein ball, writes Bai in an email to the scientist. So, why does it matter if an aggressum is solid or liquid? It tells you about how they form and what sort of molecular interactions drive them to assemble, says Stephanie Weber of McGill University who studies the spatial organization of cells and was not involved in the research. If they were solid, they would be less dynamic, limiting the types of interactions or reactions the proteins within them could perform, she explains. Also, compared with solid structures, liquid droplets can form and dissolve quickly, explains Leek. So for bacteria that live fast, replicate fast, and may experience sudden changes to their surroundings such as antibiotics or other forms of stress, this might be a clever strategy to align with Th. Mutant E. coli that were unable to form aggressomes, found via screening a library of mutant strains, but whose viability was otherwise seemingly unaffected had poorer survival when ATP was depleted compared to controls. Moreover, because the mutations only impaired aggressive formation and did not completely eradicate it, the team could see that, if, a mutant cell, had observable aggressomes, they were more likely to survive, than those that didn't, says Leek. Showing not only that condensates form in bacteria, 
but that they have a functional effect on survival and stress resistance, I think is really exciting, Weber says. However, as well as figuring out the mechanism that triggers the LLPS, knowing exactly what proteins are contained within the liquid globs would be key, she says. That is the million dollar question. Quote. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.